Guys, we're leaving. Really? What do I mean by that? We're leaving our house. Oh. Boys, over here. Boys. Come on. Wait, there's two of you here. Where's the third? Oh, there he is. <laughs> So a lot of weird stuff has been going on lately. What kind of weird stuff? That's a great question. I'd love to tell you. Thank you for asking. Well, first off, let's talk about how my cat just decided to take a chunk out of my hand the other day. Oh my God, it bit the shit out of me. Ow! What the fuck? Oh my God, why? Oh, what the? And you can tell in this clip how upset I am, but then Milo's pretty cute, so that got me out of it. And then there's a weird stuff with a dime happened. I've taken a little bit of a break and that's not really helping. Even as I film this video, weird things keep happening to my equipment. Oh yeah, a little bit of a backstory. I went to get ice cream with Emma because I was feeling bad about the stuff that was happening around the house and my finger hurt because I got bit. So ice cream made me feel better. So the weirdest thing just happened. I was putting stuff away. I put my ice cream in the freezer. When I put my ice cream in the freezer, a dime fell on the floor. But I wasn't even reaching into my pockets. A dime just fell on the floor out of nowhere, right where Emma's standing. How? How does a dime fall out of nowhere? Is that not weird? So say, say what you just told me right now. Like there's shit I've seen in life that I can't explain that doesn't really seem like it's not like real. Like when you're walking in a house or you're at someone's house or you're somewhere that seems kind of sketchy or creepy then you're walking and you get like a chill and then you look around and you think you see a figure then you double take and there's nothing there and then you're like ah pff, it's nothing it's whatever but then in reality you're shaking in your boots while you're hiding in the bathroom you're afraid to come out and it would have actually been something yeah and like i've i've uh yeah i've stayed in houses where it's like the uh it's like parents or grandparents have passed away in that house before and like the same family lives there and they see their loved ones like sometimes they'll just like appear and then disappear because they died in the house that's but so their scary. like true love or who they were married to is still living there so yeah that's scary it's, some, it's ah man like sometimes i'm just sitting there and it's like you see think you see something or you, or you feel something and then you just like look and there's nothing there you said that and then a, a light turned on <laughs> in the house over there and scared the shit out of me <laughs> Anyways, some spooks for y'all from Josh. Guys, we're uh, we're leaving. Oh, there's a car behind me. I almost backed that into it. My car. Oh, that's your car. I'm sorry. I almost backed into your car. Did you hear me come in? I did. That's why I texted that's you. Why you texted me. Yeah. Like, like, it, it sounds fucking sick. No, we heard oh, the motor. Like, I heard, your, nice. I heard your um, exhaust. Yeah, that. Yeah. Guys, we're leaving. Really? What do I mean by that? We're leaving our house. Hmm. And what? Surprise to Emma. <laughs> we are going to Costa Rica. First of all, stop for a sec. Does she not look gorgeous right now? We're leaving the house. It's gone forever we're never going back the dogs are josh's now yep. oh. um i'm moving to costa rica and i'm living with monkeys so what's actually happening is we are going to costa rica and josh is so graciously house sitting for us thank you josh i love you for it thank you josh we are going to costa rica and we're going to be staying in the jungle the cloud forest of costa rica i would love it if you looked at the road like at least every five seconds <laughs> yes i will do that we are staying in the cloud forest of Costa Rica for five days. We have a lot of adventures planned. We're going to be zip lining, canoeing, canyoning, bouldering, skydiving, fighting bulls. He bulls. said we. 
I don't know what else we're doing. We're not skydiving. That's a lie. I just straight. We're ziplining though, and I'll I'll bungee jump without the cord. I, please don't do that. <laughs> the reason why we're going is because I made a new friend. His name is Asaf. He's an incredible human being. Him and his friends own this place. They own this resort that is also an animal rescue where they house over 1,400 animals. Like 400 dogs, 350 cats. They have goats. They have pigs. They have they have iguanas. They have everything. Every animal you could ever think of. I see the stop sign, woman. I No, stopped. but did you see the car turning in front of you? Is what I, I am the danger. <laughs> Sorry. But they have every animal you can think of. And here's what breaks my heart. They do not turn away any animal that comes their way. I've been following them since he reached out to me and every day there is a new car that pulls up to their place and drops off animals. They take in animals with fleas, animals that have been stabbed, animals that have been hit by cars, animals that are mortally- People stab wounded. animals? Yes, people are horrible to animals. They take in all kinds of animals no matter, no matter what their condition and they do their best to rehabilitate them and take care of them. And we are going to this resort to spread awareness for them. So if you guys could do me a massive favor, if it's the only thing you ever do for me, f my merch, f my merch. Don't buy my merch, okay? Don't buy my merch. Go in the link in the, my description below right now and go donate to, this, to these people. They are incredible. And I will leave a little infographic here as to what um, your donation will go to. So I think it's like, like 20 bucks feeds a dog for a month, okay? 20 bucks. It is incredible what these people do and I really, really want to help them out. So please, if you guys could go in the link in my description below, donate some money. I've donated already. And we're going to be spending five days there with the animals and I'm going to show you everything I can. I'm going to try to put out five vlogs for you guys while I'm there. Uh, and this is all thanks to them. They're, they're hosting us. We're paying for our own tickets. Like the money, here's the thing. I've been reached out to by many places before to, to come stay at the resorts and stuff like that. and. I don't go because of scheduling conflicts, but every single time they, they offer to pay for my flights and everything. Like when we went to LA last year, they paid for my flight. When I went to Mexico, they paid for my flight. These guys can't even afford to pay for our flight. They just want us to come out to stay and host us because the, it doesn't cost them anything because they own the place. Um, so they can't even pay for our flights and that's why we have to do our best to raise as much money for them as we can. Uh, it's an incredible cause and if it's the only thing that I ever do in my entire life, it's the, if there's one thing that you guys remember from any of my videos, I want you guys to remember this place and keep them in the back of your mind and donate because animals are literally the most important thing to me. I have six pets, five pets now, and I don't know what I would do without them and these guys go out of their way to take, out, take care of 1,400 pets. It's insane. So please click the link in my description below. Now let's go have some fun. We're going out to dinner with Kazzy, Josh, Emma, and Kazzy has somebody that he wants us to meet. So it's gonna be very exciting. Let's go. Oh, good morning. So I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a, wow, I don't even know how to start this. I just didn't really have a plan there. Let's kind of start talking. I got a very sweet DM from one of you, essentially telling me that I need to really just kind of like take care of myself and, you know, have some alley time. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have some alley time. And we're gonna go see a movie by myself. It's gonna be an alone movie. That's right, we're gonna go movies by ourselves. So we're gonna go do that. Also, to add to today's self-care great day, look what just came in. My new ukulele. Okay, alrighty, we are ready, we are rocking, we are ready to roll, and we're, we're gonna roll. The movie that we're going to is called X, it's a horror movie, and the only theater in my city that is showing it is this little theater not too, too far away from my place. So I haven't been to this theater in so long, and I actually really like old theaters. It's like, you know, it's got an old school feel to it. Super excited to go to Costa Rica, we're leaving, in a few days and I'm very excited. Like I am so excited. It's been the only thing on my mind for the past since I found out about it. But I just haven't talked about it with you guys. Oh puppy. I'm so bad for like staring at every single dog that I drive by and I think like people think I'm staring at them but I promise you if you see me staring in your direction and you're walking a dog, I promise you I'm not looking at you so don't flatter yourself. I'm looking at your dog. 
whether you're a male, female, or a goat. I'm looking at your dog. Your dogs are the best. All I'm gonna say is what the f I don't know what to tell you, but you've you've got to watch the movie to really understand what I'm going through right now. You really just got to watch the movie. Emma ordered me some shawarma. I'm going to be eating that. Thank you guys for joining me on my day of fasting and my day of fun and doing stuff. I appreciate it. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a wonderful evening, a wonderful day, or a wonderful morning, whatever it is you're doing. I love you guys so much. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you guys in the next video where I will possibly, or actually no, I will be in Costa Rica. So, I love you guys. Max, be good. Hey bud. Ah!